Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time. I actually been recording for you guys, but just not getting around to posting it. So this morning it is uh, a little after five, about five ten, five fifteen, and I am in Miami, Florida. Now um, I'm not having surgery this morning. I'm not having surgery this time around at all. Uh, but I do plan on having uh, my breasts redid. Uh, sometime soon um, anyway you guys remember my story time I think it was the last video I posted um, the young lady that came down with me who was not able to have her surgery well today is the day she's having her surgery I wish I can share you guys her identity and show you her results and everything but she's not gonna be open to that no one is as open as I am uh, so anyway um, this is me this morning dressed uh, to take care of her um, so that's my objective down here this time around I'm here to take care of her um, this time we didn't do a um, a recovery house because it was just her and we paid for it the first time around for each of us so this time we did an Airbnb um, it was actually $40 a night and the airplane for her the airplane ticket for her was 85 and 109 for me round trip so we got a really good deal on the plane ticket. So any of you guys need to buy plane tickets, uh, get at me so I can share the girl's information with you and she can get you guys booked for the low low. But uh, I chose to go through Spirit because it's always cheaper to go through Spirit. But lately it's been kind of crazy riding with Spirit. So anyway, um, yeah, so she's taking her shower. Uh, she's scheduled for 7 o'clock this morning. I'll let you guys know about the progress uh, of the process as we go throughout the day. Um, let's see if she's gonna be on time. By the way, um, Mia Aesthetics has got their new location and it is beautiful. Uh, I just wanna put that out there. Uh, I know they will have some technical uh, uh, foundation problems in the last uh, facility, but this one is beautiful. So uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna be having her surgery at. Um, so this is what the Air and B and uh, Air b and looks like and again it was only four dollars a night i'm sorry i didn't get y'all no good twin beds um just for her and i and um the people are really really nice uh again it was only forty dollars a night and we got a rental this time so i'm doing the driving uh silhouette we love you guys so if you guys are looking for a recovery house i suggest or recommend silhouette recovery uh house um i think that's it for now so i'll talk to y'all soon when we get to the clinic again you know i gotta respect people's privacy so i won't be doing very much but i'll keep you guys along on the progress uh if you don't know the recap is that she couldn't have her surgery due to uh high blood pressure and high pulse uh during that day and so now we're back we came in november i had my surgery done she was unable and so now we're back in february having her surgery so anyway guys um see you in the next clip all right ladies so uh we arrived at we actually arrived early we arrived here at 6 11 and um we waited and then she went back about i think about seven o'clock and so um it's here it's 10 o'clock on the dot and she's still in the back and um she hasn't made it on the table so i'm thinking she's probably on the operation table she hasn't made it to recovery yet but there's two people ahead of her so I guess it's a good thing for Dr. Sherpoo because it means he's popular, but the thing is that they get a lot of people. And I guess it's a good thing because they're making money and I'm loving Dr. Sherpoo results. Uh, I met some great people here too today. I didn't get any names and I wouldn't share them even if I did. I'm just saying I met a, a great people. Um, but um, some people were happy with their results. Some people think that they needed more, but to be quite honest, I think I believe and I know for a fact that's the reaction everybody getting their first week they're like oh it's not big enough I was the same way I experienced the same thing I felt like it wasn't big enough you know that first week you're just very emotional you going through so many so many different feelings uh, so you're gonna be emotional in that first week or day uh, for some ladies you know um, and then you're gonna feel like you don't have enough but then on your um, your surgery day when you see yourself you're gonna be like it's not enough but your first uh post-op appointment you'll get to see yourself naked and so you'll look in the mirror and you'll be like okay that that booty go that i was looking for and so some ladies you just have to trust the process some are ladies you know it's, it's just unfortunate that you know you may not get the results you want 
Um, but again, ladies, I'll always say it's, it's just dependent on the body type. It really is dependent on the body type, the frame. And some with some doctors, it's just a hit or miss. There was a lady here, and I'm not even going to put the doctor name out there who did her surgery. If you want to know, inbox me on Instagram. But, oh, my gosh. She must have had nada to begin with. Nada. And she was a Hispanic woman, but she was unhappy with her results. But she said she's happy with the tummy tuck, but unfortunately, she was happy with the results as far as the butt. She was still had nada. I think they took the fat out her ass instead of giving her some. So, not no disrespect and not to be funny, but bless her heart. I really feel bad for her. But anyway, for the ladies that uh, catch this video and you were here today, um, good luck for those who are in the surgery. And congratulations to those who had their surgery and happy recovery to all of you ladies. And I am filling their new building. I probably can't get much of it, but oh, I got to turn the camera. Y'all, I'm tripping. Don't talk about me. Like, for real, don't talk about me. Actually, that's it behind me, okay? I don't want to have to stop the camera. I'm doing it recording from my phone. But anyway, just wanted to really quick and pop in and let you guys know. So I'm about to go back to the Airbnb and chill until so they call me and let me know she's ready. So peace out, ladies. Talk to y'all later. Just in case y'all wondering what I look like. And everybody was like, oh, I like your butt. And I'm like, I got a butt. Really? See, y'all, I'm post -op. I'm three months post-op, and I'm still in that phase. Like, I got a butt. So it's just going to take some use to get into. But anyway, if y'all have any questions, um, inbox me on Instagram, which it's open book gal, which is open book underscore gal, or hit me up um, on Gmail, which is Medinaya at Gmail. Um, but all that will be in the description box, ladies. So anyway, talk to y'all in the next clip. So ladies, we're back at the, uh, I'm sorry, one moment. Forgive me. So we're back at the uh, Airbnb and uh, we just left from her first appointment today, which was her um, her post-op, her first post-op appointment. And she actually seen the nurse today, not Dr. Sherpool. So on your first visit, unless they changed things, but her first visit was with the uh, nurse. And so um, she had her first massage today. Forgive me, uh, forgive me guys. So she had her first massage today. And she's seeing her body for the first time, so I don't know what she thinks of it. But I'm sure she's going to be impressed because Dr. Sherpoo did it. So uh, anyway, um, everything went well because you guys know the first time she wasn't able to have it due, due to, you know, blood pressure and things of that nature. So this time it went really, really well. Um, uh, we checked in at around 7. We I didn't pick her up until around 1.30. So they haven't improved on their process as far as timing, but uh, other than that, everything went pretty smooth. Um, she got to uh, show Dr. Sherpa her uh, wish pit, excuse me, and um, basically what she, her goals were as far as her body. And so that was pretty much it. So tomorrow is her last massage and we're gonna be jumping on the plane. They recommend that you stay longer, but we gotta go. So anyway, if you have any questions, drop them. Um, also, follow me on Instagram, openbookgal, openbook underscore gal. Um, I'm going to try to get some pictures up for you guys, um, just so you can see what I'm looking like. And you know what? It was a blessing, ladies, because I have ran into a couple of ladies that uh, follow me on YouTube as well as Instagram. And it is so good when you hear from people that your videos have been a help to them. So I'm gonna try to put more videos out there for you guys, just to help those who are going through on, you know, cosmetic journey as far as, you know, BBL, tummy tuck, uh, breast augmentation, things of that nature. Because keep in mind, I got one last surgery coming up. And that's all I'm gonna say. Don't hate me, don't hate on me. Just pray for me. <laughs> one last surgery, I wanna get my breast redone, but, um, I'm trying to show y'all pretty much what my butt is looking like, what I'm looking like, but I'll try to throw a picture in here so you guys can see. But anyways, as Raheem would say, TTYL, <laughs> talk to y'all later. Uh, if y'all have any questions that I left out uh, as far as information, let me know. See y'all in the next clip. Ladies, I don't know if this topic is touched on a lot, but <clears throat> I wanted to come here and talk, discuss it because I know a lot of ladies who go... And they select the surgeon based on, you know, the results in their social media. But a lot of times, ladies, these doctors only cho uh, choosing and picking the, um, 
um, photos and the results that they want to show that they feel that they did the best job on. These girls are already people who probably had a shapely body and they only want to, you know, promote the perfections. But why not the imperfections, you know, show the people that you didn't do all the great of a job on, but yet it's still an improvement from what they had before. But it may not be that cocoa body shape because they never had the cocoa body shape to begin with. And all doctors, all surgeons can't, you know, perfect that. So be careful when you're choosing these doctors. Make sure you're looking at the, the before, the after, the type of body compared to somebody you actually have that same body type too. Otherwise, you're going to go in there hoping and praying for a miracle and you may not get that. So do your research, ladies. So guys, we're finally on our way back to Houston, Texas. She got her surgery. She looks good. She feels good. And uh, yeah, so um, I guess that was it. I think I filled you guys in on everything. Um, they gave her a total of 3,500 cc's, um, so that's about 17 so, or so in each, about 17, what, 17, 17 in each one, I think, 17.50 in each one, um, but yeah, if y'all have any questions, please let me know, but I think that's about it. I'm sorry I had to, I wasn't able to share footage with you guys, but she's a very private person, and so, yeah. If she at least let me do waist on down, I'll try, try to insert a clip of her waist on down. I'll ask her. But anyway, guys, be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.